our students no longer come from just around Albuquerque. This is a global world right now. Our students come from more than 100 countries. The university has been so important to Albuquerque and New Mexico and the United States in so many different ways. The University of New Mexico, by any measure, has made great contributions throughout its 125 years. I think it's a miracle there was people back in the late 1800s that took the chance of creating the University of New Mexico in 1889, and no one, no one thought that it would succeed. How could you? It was a harsh environment. I mean, the wind, windows were pitted from sand. It was so bad that they would have to replace the locks on Hodgen Hall because the sand would just blast these locks. For a nickel, there's a horse and buggy that transported students from downtown up to the main campus. I think through sheer force of will, there were a lot of those early presidents of the university and professors that simply made it happen because they had to. People came here and said, oh my God, this is the most beautiful, fascinating, interesting place on the planet. I better stay. In 1901, when President Tite arrived, he got out and put his overalls on and made adobe bricks and practiced with the Pueblo style of architecture. William Tite seized on architectural style as a way to create a brand an image and identity for the institution. It was very controversial at the time, but the message was very clear. This is not Harvard, this is not Oxford, this is the University of New Mexico. President Zimmerman was here for 17 years, and then Pope Joy was brilliant in his administration. My father, you know, he knew the, the university like the back of his hand. Tom Pope Joy defended the university against witch hunts against anti-communism. I mean, you talk about a stand-up guy. Along comes the 1960s, the free speech movement, Vietnam. Hetty believed in free speech. Those years are remembered for campus turmoil. Uh, those were really hard times to manage, and I thought Dr. Hetty was brilliant. He kept everything together. I don't think my father regretted that he was president during those times. The University of New Mexico has spawned not just a celebration of traditional heritage, but also the avant-garde and the absolutely new and groundbreaking. We're leaders in cancer research, in mind imaging. UNM is recognized as the collector of Latin American art and art histories. We have legal education, we have the sciences and the engineering, we have the arts, we have the humanities, we have everything. You know, I became president in June of 2012, and by September of that year, we had an office located in, in Beijing, China. We're going back to Mexico City to get a better presence in Latin America. The university has a mission that keeps getting bigger and bigger. I applied for the position as president because I love this university. I came here as a kid who had no idea what I was going to do, and I got a great career out of this place. All you have to do is go to a graduation, and you realize that this university has been enormously responsible for so much that has happened in New Mexico and beyond. The University of New Mexico has this great heritage of celebrating the past, but more importantly, looking to the future. People come to New Mexico because they realize that this is a land of opportunity in a way that nobody has expected. There's this tenacity of individuals that say, I'm going to innovate. I'm going to look to the future because the sky's the limit in New Mexico. Anything's possible here.